Hi, I'm Dr. Chris Heimlich, DC. Now, don't take this the wrong way. Are you having some shrinkage factor? Is your brain shrinking? Maybe a better question might be is, are you ready for your brain to start shrinking? Because in the elderly, the brain shows progressive atrophy. And atrophy occurs even in healthy cognitive adults. Now, the greater the levels of cognitive decline, however, the greater the atrophy, as seen on MRI. In a research uh, study, they found an interesting variable. It's plasma levels of homocysteine. Now, raised homocysteine is associated with both regional and whole brain atrophy, not only with Alzheimer's disease. But also, uh, one of the things they did is 168 partip participants, 70 years old, older, uh, they put into two different groups. They had 85 of these guys that they supplemented with homocysteine lowering uh, B vitamins, folic acid, B12, B6. The other 83 uh, participants in the control group received a placebo. So both groups were given MRIs before and after the two-year study. Now the mean rate of brain atrophy after two years was 1.08%. That's for the control group. Uh, it was 0.76 for the treatment group. I don't even like the thought of atrophy in 0.76% in two-year period, but that's what it turned out to be. Now the treatment responsible was related to baseline homocysteine levels. Uh, in the treatment group, the levels were greater than 13. The results were even more dramatic. The ratio of atrophy was 53% lower whenever they were treated with the vitamins. Now the greatest atrophy was associated with uh, final low cognitive score. So in other words, your brain atrophies, the lower your ability to think, to uh, resolve problems. Now in the past, elevated homocysteine level was associated with atherosclerosis, increased risk of heart attacks, strokes, blood clots, formation, Alzheimer's disease, still applies. Those elevated homocysteine levels have also been linked to increased fractures in elderly people. Now it appears that reducing homocysteine levels doesn't really affect the bone level too terribly much. Now in a trial subject prior to stroke and elevated homocysteine levels were given folate and B12 there was an 80% reduction in the fractures, mainly hip, after two years. An interesting part about that is uh, um, the number of falls were identical within both the vitamin group and the placebo group. So homocysteine, it's a marker. Now there's no clear data in the case reducing homocysteine will reverse those conditions, but the results of the study show by using low dose of vitamin B vitamins you can slow down that brain atrophy, especially if you've got elevated homocysteine levels. Now, the couple key points of that whole study are first, it took place over two years, so nutrients need to be given or, or taken on an ongoing basis to reduce the factors that cause the brain to be inflamed. Next, when plasma levels of homocysteine are greater than 13, the treatment results were more dramatic. Now, elevated homocysteine is a marker for a malfunctioning metabolism. Um, depleted folic acid, B6, B12, and perhaps methyl donors as well. Now, remember, we need B12 and folic acid in our genes so they work properly. Think of homocysteine kind of like a canary uh, in the gold mine. You know, the, that thing dies, canary dies. What does that mean? Gas is present, warns the miners, there's some trouble. Don't wait till that canary dies. Don't wait till your homocysteine hits 13 before you start supplementation. I mean, testing should be done on a regular basis to monitor the progress of the patient. Uh, considering the many benefits of folic acid and B12 and B6, higher doses than given in the studies could be used to utilize safely. And let's mention too that elevated levels of homocysteine are not produced from just from inflammation, but oxidative stress generated from elevated homocysteine levels which again promotes uh, inflammation in the brain. Now as it relates to the atrophy of the brain, would it make more sense to try and keep that inflammation to a minimum? And the only way to know is if you, if you need these type of things, is to go to a doctor who knows about this and get tested, okay? Because no matter how young you are or how old you are, a mind is a terrible thing to waste. And getting working on it in the beginning Nipping it in the bud is the way to go. I'm Dr. Heinrich. Thank you very much.